Hey, it's Chris from Outbound Terrain. Welcome to the channel. Sorry I've been around. You all, you off-road animals. Love you, man. Be sure to subscribe. Just click the little button somewhere on the screen up here. And, uh, man, just help me out. Join the channel, man. The place that rocks, the place that never stops. You've arrived, man. Welcome. Hey, uh, Metal Cloak. Great company. We're gonna go ahead and put a, uh, twin ARB AR boat twin <laughs> too much coffee and we're going to put a mount for a twin ARB compressor in this 2018 Jeep JK last of the JK's you know uh, 19 they went over to the JL so uh, my other rig over here we put uh, full metal cloak on that suspension the whole bit love it man definitely helps you out with the ride especially wheeling but anyways um so let's get this thing in here man pretty excited about it and uh it's pretty easy and this is just a quick video i know i haven't put out a lot of videos in a long time just been busy man you know how it is life and family and all that stuff taking care of business every day in every way but anyways let's get into this man welcome to the channel and this is chris of course and this is ray's 2018 jk Nice build, man. Love this thing. And I think you'll enjoy this. So come along for the ride, man. Let's get started. Let's get started. First thing we have to do is pull this horn out. Hope you guys can see this kind of a hard angle. Here's the horn. We need to get that out. Per the instructions for a metal cloak, so this is a 10 mil millimeter uh, socket. Um, so a little bit of an extension to get this out. The bolt down here is 10 millimeters. Let's get that out. Let's move the horn. Uh, let's get in there. Get her out. All right. Do that. Uh, let's loosen it up a little bit. I'm going to leave the wires connected for now, the horn wire. So let's take this out. A little bit of a long bolt. Bear with me. All right, guys, we got that 10 millimeter bolt out. We're just kind of sizing up where we need to go. It goes in between this plastic bracket here. Uh, there you go. Horn's out of the way. Good. So the side of the master cylinder is it's a 13 millimeter. So you guys know it makes it easy. Just get a uh, opening wrench in there. It's hard to get a socket in there because of the lines that come off. And uh, so we're gonna pull that out so we can mount that lower mounting bracket. And I'll go over that in a minute. So we're not gonna take that nut off all the way. I said just to loosen it up and uh, so we can get that mounting. It's a slotted bracket that's gonna go in there. Let me show you guys. It's a lower bracket here. Uh, see the slot? That's gonna go on your master cylinder uh, passenger side bolt. Uh, there's two in there, one's a driver, one's passenger. So what we're gonna do is uh, loosen that up so we can just slide that in there and then tighten the nut off. We're not taking the nut off all the way. The lower bracket mounts here for the instructions on the bottom of the plate. You can see that and it'll go through all this stuff. So yeah, let's bear with us here. Now once again, you can't get a socket in there. See these two lines right here? Coming off the cylinder, and the brake fluid cylinder. We can't uh, reservoir. Sorry, we can't get a socket in there in the ratchet. So we're gonna have to use an open end wrench, which is uh, like I said, 13 millimeters. So we'll just uh, take our time here, get that off, at least halfway off, so we can slide the uh, slotted uh, lower support bracket on there. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what we're gonna do? We unbolted the uh, lower bracket from the uh, main plate. It's just easier to get that thing hooked up in there. Sorry to jump around, guys, but uh, you know, per the instructions, I mean, you know, you know how that is. So we're just kind of uh, making it work. So that's unbolted, and we'll bolt. Uh, see that slot there? We'll mount on the bottom on the master cylinder, and then we'll uh, go ahead and mount the plate on top. Mm -hmm. 
it's kind of get hard to get down in there guys so that lower brackets mounted like I said uh, that's hard to get an angle here kind of goes down there um, and we're gonna pull the plate up okay so what we did is drill out the hole here what we need to do is uh, I'm kind of jumping ahead here guys but anyways that's a uh, 17 30 seconds drill bit and what we do is a pound in that insert right there the instructions will show you how to do that so that's going to be our mounting area right there like I said took the horn out just getting ready to go jump it ahead and uh, other than that there it is that's just an insert because there's just a hole there in a normal JK there's not a bolt so like this so we're going to take these two bolts out right here that one and that one this is going to stay uh, so this insert inserts threaded so you can just put a bolt right in there on the other side of your plate and then uh, it's a 10 millimeter raise use it get that out of there uh, and then we can kind of get going we'll show you where the plate sits pretty easy not a bad uh, easy I mean it's not a hard install I mean you can do it anybody can do this we'll get those bolts out and then uh, you know we'll get going here so we're gonna set the plate on top of that mounting bracket right there and yeah, I'm trying to give you guys a view uh, I'm gonna say that part we drilled out, provider hardware. I'm gonna do that. So we'll melt the uh, bracket on top of there. It's just easier to just do it in, in segments. Just size it up. Nice fit there, Ray. What are you? Pretty good right there. Nice. All right. Okay. I'm gonna put a washer. We'll put a uh, washer. I don't think the kit came with a washer for this. It needs a washer like these other ones. So we'll put a washer on the end of this. And uh, tighten that thing up, and we'll tighten up the uh, lower mount over here with one of the bolts, and uh, good to go. All right, so you can see here, here's a lock nut washer, uh, uh, Allen wrench right there, which bolts to a lock nut underneath there. You now, this, like I said, bolts uh, the top plate to the uh, lower bracket right there so we're going to tighten that mama up 964 964 allen 964 allen all right and uh don't have a driver so we're going to have to do it by hand here we'll tighten that up torque it up and we're going to tighten up our bolt here actually the kit did come on the washer sorry my bad okay so we're tightening up here the plates in place uh how solid is that right feel pretty solid yeah. good just so you know once again this is gonna go in the middle it's plastic uh, piece right here boom boom this is an insert that you're gonna pound in 17 30 second drill just drill it out just tap it slowly in there i didn't show that part but uh that's how it's done Do it. You gotta zip, zip up those uh, extra hoses. And clean that up a little bit. Or, yeah. So we're gonna mount the horn here in just a minute. Put the horn on. There's a the horn wire. We disconnected the horn wire, so it's just easier to get it out, and out of the way to do this. But uh, we'll go and mount up our horn there. Well, then in piece on the end of the bracket. Okay, so what he's doing is zip tying those lines right there. Uh, washer line, it looks like, goes up here. So what we did is zip tie those together because they're kind of in the way, they're flopping around. We want a nice clean install, so we zip tied those up, get them out of the way, and then uh, we go in with the horn install. What we're gonna do is take that mounting bracket that's on the horn off, so take that off for the instructions. Is that a 10? That's a 10. And uh, 
you can see what we're already doing here. And that whole mounting bracket, this is gonna come off, guys. That'll come off. You don't need that. And what we're gonna bolt is, uh, we'll show you what we're gonna do here. It's a little modification. Sorry about the uh, gimbal there. So, okay, existing 10 millimeter bolt. See how we uh, mounted that horn? Just with a bolt. It's gonna go in that lower bracket Lowering right there. Yeah, we somehow we're gonna be able to hopefully be able to get our hands back there and tighten that up. Sorry about the ambient noise. We have the uh, chopper with the chainsaws over here. See if you can get a wrench in there. <laughs> there you go. And when we're done, we'll hook the wires back up over here on the uh, horn itself. So that's good. That good? Yep. You got okay. her? Came All right. Down and that's where the horn mounts. Right in there. the in hole on that uh, the mounting bracket itself right there that's where your horns gonna sit right there Give you kind of an angle once I get it on yeah all right guys mounted uh, mounted the plate uh, sorry about the wind noise here we got some ambient wind noise I don't have a uh, uh, dead cat microphone cover here so uh, bear with us here. So everything's mounted. You put the horn uh, electrical back on there. Uh, everything works, horn works. Okay, mounted once again to the uh, uh, master cylinder bolt on the passenger side. Bolt there for the bottom bracket. Uh, this right here is an insert that comes with a kit. 17 32nd uh, um, drill out the hole to 17 30 seconds and then uh, That'll go around that plastic piece that mounts, and that's the other 10. These are 10s. And in the kit, you'll get all that stuff. And that's kind of an overview. What we're going to do next is mount the uh, ARB compressors. Uh, pretty firm, right? Right? What do you think? Staying on there? Seems to be. Pretty solid mount. Not bad. So let's put those ARB compressors on, man. So guys, in the next video, we're going to show you how to put the uh, ARB dual compressors on. I, I needed to put this in like two segments. You know, it's just too long, so I don't want to bore you guys. But anyways, that's the installation. Uh, see you on the next video, part two. Hey, thanks for coming along, man. That was a lot of fun. Ray, you're a cool dude. Uh, thanks for letting us uh, use your rig, man. Get you all set up for the summer. Summer's coming. It's March. 2022 sierra's the snow is starting to melt we're gonna get up there and do some camping it's gonna be a good summer man and uh like i said man you guys hang in there like i said uh country's a dumpster fire right now <laughs> uh boy uh, so leadership wise we're in big trouble hopefully that'll change pretty soon so it's chris from outbound terrain you guys take care of yourself so see you on the next video man be sure to subscribe hey thanks for coming along all you guys from around the world, you rock. Love you. It's Chris from Northern California, up near the Tahoe Basin and the Rubicon Trail. Not too far from there. Give you some geography. We love you. You take care, man.